I started training my nephew Nathan to do pool service. First couple days we just worked on skimming technique and brushing. The first 40 or so pools he just skimmed and brushed them. I also walked him through the use of the various brushes from the small algae brush to the 24 inch nylon wall brush. It doesn't seem that complicated but there is a method of brushing the pool also along with skimming the pool. Things I do when I get to a stop is I get my soap and I spray the water. That takes away some of the glare on top. You can see the bottom a lot Tile clear. soap when I do what? the spraying of the surface. You can use regular dish soap, maybe 10 parts to one. Dish soap the water, that'll clear the surface. Go ahead and skim the edge of that. Okay, so I use a retro net basically. It's the stainless steel frame and it's got a really easy dump net in here. You start at the edge of the pool and you want to kind of make a lot of motion to kind of break up anything that's on a tile and anything that you want to sink to the bottom at this point. You want to go around twice this way. Again, you just make some motion here, stirring some stuff up. You notice I'm just going around the tile line right now the first time, I'm not getting any of the debris in the middle. That comes next. Just work it around the whole pool. Now on my second pass, I'm coming back around. The debris that was on the edge should be knocked to the middle. You can see it right here floating. So all the stuff that was kind of stuck to the tile line has moved out. Now you just scoop it out. And you can go to the middle of the pool now. Going around here. So two times is usually enough to get the top skimmed enough between the bottom. Get the vacuum in, or get to use your leaf spray at the bottom to try to knock the weed back in the hole. Here's the middle area. You want to kind of just throw the net and pull it towards you. Tossing the net out there. Over here. So within a minute or two, you can have the whole top of the pool skin with this technique. Okay, so I went twice around and I got most of the stuff in the middle. When you work your way around the bottom of the pool, the debris. Pretty easy. You don't have to actually balance it too much, but when you get in front of a leaf like this, you want to bounce slightly and pull back a little bit. A little bit of bouncing motion. Too much bouncing motion, you stir everything up. You want to keep it a kind of subtle bouncing type motion. Nothing too violent. Then the debris will be stirred up. Good. So here's some pine needles on the bottom. Again, you just kind of bounce slightly, kind of get it. Leaf over here, slight bounce. There's another, some more debris on the bottom. Just slightly bouncing right before I get to the debris to kind of push it up into the net. net. Okay. Okay. Now brushing. Okay, so there is a technique to brushing also. I let Nathan brush the first few pools without showing him the proper way to brush the pool. Basically, he was just going in an up and down motion, which was causing a lot of extra work and e extra effort for him as he was treading the water. Then I pointed out to Nathan that if you brush at a slight angle, it's much easier using gravity and there's less friction. And the friction of the angle, the brush a lot smoother. Is it easier to brush that way? Yeah. Less. less effort? Yeah, and it saves you time. But it also saves you from overexerting yourself by br brushing straight up and down all the time. Again, look at the angle he's at. You're using the gravity and the friction of the angle to kind of brush a lot easier in the pool. That's a 24 inch nylon brush. Uh, the bigger the brush, the better. And so the pool looks much better after skimming and brushing it. It's kind of automatic cleaner. So I don't usually vacuum this pool.
you run into a area, a pool with a lot of debris, you just want to kind of go in a pattern. Kind of just try to keep the debris all in one area. This is a spa, so it's pretty easy. I'm going to make it small. Step it out easily. Step when I'm filming. I'm going to get the rest of it here. You can do this pretty rapidly. Don't plant a fig tree over your pool. Probably not the best kind of tree to have. Then you dump it out. That one's a little easier. You can pretty much get the whole area cleared up in less than a minute. Developing enough skill. So if you use the skimming technique on all the pools that you service, or if you're a homeowner on your pool, it's very effective in getting the surface debris every week. Yeah, I use the Purity Pool Tile Brush and the Geyser Tile Soap on my accounts. Okay, so basically you want to get the tile brush wet. You want to go in a good, perfect motion. Here you can go like this. Full so coverage. Of course, the pool might not have as much tile as this one. Probably not. This an area you can't reach. Like we repeat the same process on the other side of the pool. And so, there's a technique to brushing and to skimming the pool. You learn the basic technique to do both. You can maintain your pool at home and you can actually maintain pools on your route very effectively. It's your first week of skimming and brushing, how do you feel? Got a handle on it? Yeah? Yes. 